Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. We're staying with the Halloween theme this time, and I am reviewing Halloween Fiend by C.B. Hunt. I almost forgot the title of the book there for a second. Um, this one uh, has been on my TBR ever since it was released. Uh, I'm trying to collect um, all of the out-of-print and in-print uh, Grindhouse books, so I will be reading much more of C.B. Hunt and Anderson Prunty. They both, uh, I think they co-own both that and Adel Adel Press, ATL, ATL. Um, both of those presses they they work together with, so they co-own. Um, so I'll be reading much more C.B. Hunt here in the future. Um, I've heard nothing but good stuff about this one. In fact, uh, even after I finished it, went looking up reviews. Reviews are majority positive. Um, and I think it deserves it. This one is a very unique story. Um, it is about a guy named Barry who lives with his uh, jerk of a father. His mother uh, is out of the picture uh, just recently though and uh, he, Barry lives in this town uh, where there's this creature literally called Halloween. Now it's not the personification of Halloween, they just call it Halloween and this book just happens to take place during Halloween but this creature comes out every single night at least that's what I got from it they have to leave sacrifices all different kinds of stuff I really enjoyed this book uh, especially because at the toward the beginning there was a lot of really creepy shit um, with looking in windows noises whispers uh, there was a lot of really cool stuff and I thought the uh, the creature uh, known as Halloween was very well done. It's not over described. Um, there are certain attributes that Hunt will give you and you'll be able to build off of that but she never jumps full into this is exactly what the creature looks like. Now if you want to you can look at the cover which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you can look at the cover but all of... Let me, let me just put this, if, if nothing else I mean they, they publish great books but Grindhouse does fantastic cover art, uh, eye candy galore. So definitely check them out. I'll try and leave a link down there in the doobly doo to both to both presses, uh, Grindhouse and Adel Adel. If I'm getting that wrong, the Adel Adel, just let me know how to pronounce it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyways, so back to the book. The, the cover is absolutely gorgeous, and if you want to go off that, I feel like you can go off that to try and build this monster in your head. Um, there is a there's a carnival section in here. I'm a huge huge fan of carnival circus theme parks that kind of thing there's a, it's very small but you know there's a mention in there um, there's a lottery type deal that's going on um, that almost like Shirley Jackson's the lottery you know that kind of thing um, and I haven't read Hunger Games but uh, when I was describing it to my wife uh, she said it sounded kind of like Hunger Games it's probably not it um, that, because I think that's a competition and this is more of a sacrifice thing maybe the lottery is wrong too I'm not sure I haven't read the lottery either um, but it's it, it's a lottery to pick who is going to be sacrificed to the creature. Um, I really enjoyed the uh, the character thoughts being in Barry's mind. I really enjoyed that aspect. The characters are well done. Um, I think Barry and the father are really the only two that you really get a good feel for. The other characters, not that they're toss off or cardboard or anything like that. It's just the focus here is Barry, and up to a certain point, his father. Um, and I thought that was really well done. I like the dynamic dynamic of a father and son that don't get along. Um, I've always enjoyed that. Um, and this is one of those stories. Now, past a certain point, the action and the creepiness did die down, um, but not to the detriment of the story. The beginning of it goes so well, and you get to know Barry and his father and these other characters that pop up um, toward the end of the book. You get to know them, and you like you just like being around them. You like you 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 enjoy it. And whereas I was complaining in the last review, the last book, I won't mention it here, that uh, it didn't feel like Halloween. This one doesn't really feel like it could happen any day other than Halloween. But the the thing is that there was an annoying writing like the last one that I reviewed. There wasn't anything annoying about it at all. Um, and. It, it might be a minor complaint, it, it is a minor complaint here, that there wasn't more Halloween feel to it, since it's called Halloween, Halloween Fiend. I keep on wanting to say friend. Um, but I, 
it didn't bother me this time. And I think that's just a testament to how this book is so much better than the last one that I reviewed. Um, it, it just comes down to whether or not the author can engage me and whether or not the author annoys me. And the last author annoyed me, C.V. Hunt, did not. I'm going to give this one four stars. The only reason I'm taking off that one is because it did kind of die down after the spookiness um, kind of wore off. Um, and the end, I understand why the end had to be the end, but there was a very, very silly, and it's probably intentional, but it, it was a little sillier than I was expecting. Um, <laughs> it, it, you, if you read it, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. I think it's kind of obvious once you get to it. Um, it is kind of on the silly side, but I still enjoyed it. Um, but I'm going to give it four stars because I didn't love it. You know, I didn't fawn over it. But that first section, those creepy parts, are absolutely amazing. But if you read Halloween Fiend, if you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo what you thought of it, whether or not you liked it, whether or not you hated it. If you liked it or hated it, with either one, just tell me why you liked it or hated it so we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.